really need a piss. Well, howdy doody folks. Out on a really nice hot day, I've got a few hours spare. It's like, what, 26, 27 degrees? Which is El Scorchio, it's bloody warm. Even with my vented suit on, it's just like a plastic mesh, it's still hot, so... It is unusual, so I'm making the most of it. So yeah, just out on a ride on the St Mary's Lock Road, which goes from Moffat to Selkirk in the Scottish Borders. It's an absolute belter of a road for motorbikes, even more so whoop, on, a, um, on a supermoto. Uh, I'm not riding with this gadget, I'm just like following him, just while I'm gassing. Once, uh, once I shut up, we'll maybe skip past him. So yeah, just out for a few hours before I have to go to work in the wagon. And while I'm out, I thought I'll do a vlog. Vloggy, vloggy sausage. Oh, hey, Willy Saurus. Fuck it. Ford is in behind him. So yeah, I was at Cadwell a few weeks ago. That was pretty good. It was like, that was uh, the first time I was there. Unfortunately, it was wet in the morning, so the track was like really greasy and stuff. Um, I was in the middle group, and I don't think I was quite the slowest in the group, but probably only because I can only do like a hundred and something mile an hour on the straights. Uh, I think the top speed I've seen was 108. I probably kept could have kept it uh, going down, um, is it Park Strait or whatever, the big Park Strait? Uh, yeah, probably could have kept it going down there. Just a little bit more until the breaking point, but still, it was just the first time. Uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, it's just a shame that it's so bloody far away. It's like a four or five hour drive, and when you've got a big van that drinks fuel, like it's gone out of fashion. It's, uh, it is quite expensive, it's like nearly a hundred pound in fuel. And then it was 120 pound for the day, plus food, and so on. Uh, yeah, it's quite an expensive day out for me, but um, I did see that they do, um, what are they called, uh, open pit days, uh, which is what I'm used to really, uh, riding the supermoto tracks. Uh, but yeah, they're a little bit more expensive through the summer, but in winter, uh, there's one in November, um, that is what, 59 pounds, so I think I'll do that. I can't not do it really. Um, I won't have much time to do track days next year, which I'll get into that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make the most of it while I can. Be, well, it won't quite be the start of winter, but it's still it'll be cool enough. And to be honest, it's probably more of a chance of it being dry. So I think I'll get that booked. As I said before, this road's pretty good for the supermoto. It's quite bumpy. And there's lots of crests, so you can get the front up over the corners. Not like that though. I did nearly stack it last time on this road, on that corner though. Well, there are sheep on this road, so just a case of go as fast as you dare. Um, right, what am I saying? What is the crack? So, I, uh, as I said, I won't have much chance next year. I have some big news. The, uh, the missus is pregnant, so I'm going to be a father for the first time. Which, fucking hell, it's quite scary saying that. Brah. Ah, yes. This is the fun part of the road. It's also the sheepy part of the road. 
seen a couple sitting here, yep. Move, sheep. When their heads are up, and if they're walking around, they're a bit unpredictable. But if their heads are down in the grass and eating, they probably won't move. All those people at the bottom of the hill having a nice relaxed day. Oh, here's the deckhead clear the clue crew. Still, we'll give him a wave. Don't want to get knifed in my sleep. Well, oh, that's the fun part of the road over. Uh, so, as I said, I'm going to be a father for the first time, which is fucking scary. Uh, it'll be due on, oh Christ, when? Um, end of January. Or thereabouts. So yes, lots of money to spend on child instead of my other mistress, the husky. She's gonna get neglected. But I'll ride it to work every now and then. Keep her happy. And uh, yeah, scared but excited. And all of that that comes with being a new parent, I guess. This is quite a nice road. I do like it. And it's only like half an hour from home, so I don't know why I ride I don't ride it more often. Oh Christ! Fucking hell, shit rick there. So if that was a pothole or what? Jesus, I'm sweating my dick off. Oh there better be ice cream here. Jesus, it's packed! Fucking hell! We've seen so many people. Find somewhere to stop for a piss. Oh, bombs to squeak. <laughs> While I'm out, I might as well go exploring. This single track road is a big reservoir at the top of this hill, wherever the top of the hill is. Goes miles away. Oh yes, this is the photo point. This is what I was looking for. Gad, come on peeps. What's going on? Has there been a crash? DL. Folks, no drive light. <laughs> what the fuck? This'll do. Oh, yes, this shall do. What a nice spot for a 40. Well, about an hour to get home. Still need to stop for a piss and a drink and some fuel. And it'll take over an hour to actually get home. Goddamn tourists. It wouldn't be a 20 moto video without a shit wheelie. Oh man, I kid you not, I am dying for a piss. I'm just gonna have to find a fucking bush. I think it's actually dribbling out. Oh, for the um, beady eyed among you, you may notice that this is the road where I got crashed into when we're out dicking around doing wheelies and shit. Coming in! 
I'll tell you what, I'll go for a piss down there. This will do. God, it's been a quest for the great mighty piss. Uh, which way is the wind blowing? One does not piss into the wind that way. Right, piss chief managed. Let's fuck off. Well, folks, adventure time is over. Back onto the main road and back to where there's some fuel. There, fuck it. First, get away, get away, get away, get away. Noise for not a lot of speed. Oh, husky! Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe for more updates and dicking around and how to's and shit. And until next time, cheers for watching.